Welcome back, everyone, to the shit show. The shit motherfucking show where we go, go through motherfucking shit. With shit. And more shit. Anyways. Last video. We managed to fuck the immortal shit up out of Vicar Amelia. Yup. We fucked her up. And then we went to the Forbidden Woods, and that's where we left off. So today, we're going to venture through the Forbidden Woods and unlock a uh, secret, little secret area. Um, not really a secret area. Again, if you just explore the game, you'd find it. But um, <clears throat> that's what we're going to do today. So without further ado, let's get right the fuck to it. This part coming up can be a motherfucking nightmare. It can. Like the little secret I just mentioned. It's not really secret, it's just like I said, if you explore the game, you'll find it. It's not like it's hidden or anything, but anyways, we're pretty close to it right now. All right, did I get that last time I was here? Let's kill this fucking thing. damn. I thought we damn it! I always fuck that way. Yep, we got that. That was antidotes, if I remember right now. I remember now. Okay. Moving right along. Let's go kill this jackass. There you go, big boy. Give me my bullets. Yep. And come over here for some twin bloodstone shards. And, okay. Right here can really fuck you up. You see that pile of wood laying right there? It's actually a trap for that. That right there. You step on this, which is the trigger. You can see it right there. That motherfucker comes down and will fuck you up. Literally. So we're just going to go around it. No big. Now right here can be a tough motherfucking customer spot right here. So there's a strategy, of course. You guys know I'm all about some strategies and all that shit. So you have two dogs there, a fucking dude, tons of dudes down there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go off right here. And then we're just gonna fucking... Ah, goddamn, I missed. We're gonna pelt that motherfucker with a rock. Again, this is just my strategy of how I do it. You know, nothing major. Let's get our shit here. And now we're gonna get this guy to come. Now, now that we've cleared those motherfuckers out of our way, we're going to just creep up right here. Now notice that guy, he's throwing urns at us. Damn it. Holy cow, you can't be hit, dog. Yep, that triggered that dog. That's good. There we go. Now we've got through the hard spot. Watch out the guy behind you because he throws the bull balloons or urns or whatever at you. And that guy will light you up. Along with this fucking guy. 
that's literally all there is to it, guys. Feel free to go through it any way you feel pleased. That's, again, this is just my strategy for it. Um, but anyways, we're going to go pick up this item right up here. This one, and that one, and I think there's one more. Yep, right there. <clears throat> Man, I'm congested as fuck and I hate it. Jesus. Alright. So that's where we were. We fell off. Right here. And we're going to go get us some more twin swords. for the shards all right right up here is a place for some beast blood pellets you know those are useful I like to save them for bosses that I'm really having a hard time with because you just don't get very many of them in the game um, later on of course you can buy them with insight and that's when I really start using them for now I just want to save them get three of them it's good shit Good, good shit. And right here. No, it's just a little further down. My fault. Yeah, right here is the entrance to the village. As you can see, there's lots of fucking crazy sons of bitches in there. We're going to go this way, though. We're not going to fuck with the village just yet. I'm going to show you this little, little secret area that's not really a secret. just called investigating let's talk to this bitch oh, a hunter of beasts are you glory be you know not the value you possess but more's the pity the hours of the night are many and the beasts more than I can count a veritable hunt unending not even death offers solace and the blood imbibes you <laughs> a most frightful fate oh my <laughs> but i'm willing to do you a kindness step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church the gift of the godhead will grant you strength Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. <laughs> That's a very important item. That's the one that I got confused on because I got it on my other character. And I was like, no, I got it. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Because I couldn't remember if I had it with this character or not. But that's the one that we need. Let's read the description on it. A lattice deformed rock, or perhaps a meteorite, appears useless, but possesses some odd gravitational force that prevents its riddance. A dubious soul once said, step lightly around to the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Boy, that couldn't be more of a lie, but yeah. Kill all the fighters that are in the cage. And again. And again. Um. Yeah, literally all you have to do is investigate. Oh, there's a path here. This is the big great secret, by the way, guys. One thing we will need is our antidotes on standby. Please, this place can be a bitch and a half. 
when you're trying to get all the items. Like if you just blaze through it and go to where you're supposed to go through here, it's easy. But if you try to get all the items, it's a fucking nightmare. Simply because, guess what? Yes, that water, you are correct, is poisonous. God damn, it still hit me? Fuck. Those guys can be a pain in the ass to fight, especially right here. All right, it's so moving right along. That motherfucker's all the way over there, so we're just gonna fucking run, grab this shit, and I'm poisoned. So, none of it. All right, moving right along. Now right here's one of my least favorite enemies in the game. Like I hate these motherfuckers. It's the little worms. As you can see, you can see them right there if you look hard enough. Right there. See it? Those motherfuckers suck cuz they hit like trucks and they're hard as fuck to hit. Literally. Like about my only best bet is to freaking use it untransformed. The Bloodwig's blade that is. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna just skip that part all together. Let our poison gauge fucking die down for a sec. And this is where we're gonna go. And there's tons of those motherfuckers. Yes, you heard right. Tons of them. Hate them. God, I hate them. Alright. And then there's worms stationed literally all around that island where that guy's kind of kneeling down. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to fucking make a run for it. Because fuck them, that's why. And they should be coming this way any second now. Okay, but you see them? You see them right there on that fucking island? They can be a fucking bitch. So we're just going to fucking leave them alone, leave them be. You know, let's do our thing. You know, let's do the damn thing. And just keep fucking going. son of a bitch doesn't follow me in here. Now here's where we're going to need to be careful, otherwise we'll have another one of those motherfuckers to fight. This is literally the one spot in the game that I try to avoid the enemies. As you guys know, I try to fight all of them. You know, just to give you guys strategies and all that. But this is the best strategy I've come up with, just because of the shit show that it is. You know, I, I try to get every fucking thing that I can remember that I know of, and all that bullshit, and yeah. But fuck these guys, and the worms, and the poison, all that, fuck all that bullshit. <laughs> Anyways, there you go, that's how you get through it, or at least how I do it. And we're just going to go up this fucking ladder here. And we're going to come out to a very familiar area that's going to be unfamiliar at the same time. Because guess what? It's a new area. But it's a familiar new area. And by the way, all you guys that do watch this, you know, 
as few of you guys that there are, you know, no biggie. You know, it is what it is. It's all fun and games. Um, want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day. Yes, it is February 14th. Yep. So, happy Valentine's Day, fuckers. Appreciate y'all watching my shit. But anyways, open this gate. Oh, fuck. Look, that's where we started. <laughs> yep. And we're gonna go in through here. Yes, we are going back into the clinic. Now, one of the fucking little fucking freaky fuckers, brain sucker thingies, is right here. God, the way it walks the sound of There we go. Alright. Moving right along. Now we're going to go up this motherfucking ladder. And wrong button, Jesse. Wrong button again. <laughs> <sighs> and we're going to kill these motherfucking crows. And that's all there is to it. This area is not difficult at all unless you make it difficult. I got in sight when I stepped in here. And we're gonna go this way. Guess who that is? That is the original and real Yusefka. That's her. If you kill her, we're gonna we're gonna leave her alive simply because we may we may need it but if you kill her like if you've already used it the Yusefka's blood vial this is the second spot that you can get it is right here you kill that motherfucker and it drops one now we're going to go through here a little bit of light. Yes, that is what the imposter Yusefka turns people into. That's why she wants fucking people. Again, remember when I told you that she kills them? Yes, she fucking kills them. And we're gonna grab this chest. Communion. That's a really good, really, really good fucking room. Good shit. Moving right along. And we're going to go in here. Ah, moonlit sense. How did you worm your way in here? Very unfortunate. I had such high hopes for you. Well, I won't make any excuses. Would you mind leaving us alone? Things need not change. You'll do the rescuing, and I'll do the saving. But if you refuse to leave... Oh well. I've always wanted to try my hand on a hunter. <laughs> and there you have it. We can go up there and we can fight her. She is very fucking difficult. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that right now. And the reward that you get... I, I, I highly recommend fighting her on New Game 2. Remember that. On New Game 2. Because she does drop a fucking rune. You know, a rune that you can't really get anywhere else, if I remember right. 
I know she dropped the rune. I can't remember which one it is, though. But if we come back to the same area later on in the game, guess what? She's pretty much incapacitated, and we can kill her, and we get something else instead of the rune. Something very important. So I'm going to leave that at that. You guys make your own decision if you're following through as you play with this playthrough, walkthrough, whatever the fuck bullshittery you want to call it. But, you know, do whatever you want. It's up to you. Yeah, unfortunately, we kind of got to go through all this. Oh, really. I'm not going to go back through there and kill all those guys just because we already got the items and shit, so we're just going to head this way and then we're just going to go like we're going to take a little bit of a different route this time we'll go this way oh shit damn it that's supposed to happen no worries Whatever you do, don't sit up on that pile of wood in the, in the center. Just FYI, you know, you'll fall down there. And here in this, right here, is not a good idea. With everything going on. And that's how I clear this area. <laughs> Pretty easy. Not many enemies here, you know. And we are no shit in the village right now, so. Watch out here. There's a motherfucker with a gun right there. That'll fuck you up. So just run in here. Let him take a pot shot. Kill his ice. like it good deal okay that's pretty much the village cleared out or the lower part of it at least wife sitting here texting me But anyways, now we're going to fall down in here just because there's an item in here. Damn, and I missed it. Fuck you, crow. Fuck you, crow. And fuck you, crow.
All right. I thought there was something in here. Yeah, I've been wrong before. No biggie. No, it's here. That's right. Yep. More beast blood pellets. Good deal. How in the fuck did you get up there? <laughs> Alrighty then. Moving right along. Kill fighters. There's a crow right here. Go up the stairs. Or ladder, I mean, my fault. And we're going to get another church guard. I think it's the white, the white one. Can't remember right. Yep, white church. All right, go down and another fire here. Take care, Fido. Take care of this dude, too, while we're at it. There we go. And right here's a real good item for later on. Or you can use it whenever. Blue elixirs. They're good. All right. Right, here's our first magic relic, but before we get that, we're going to creep up on Mr. Snatcher. And grab this shit. Beast Roar. Yep. I would show you what it does, but... Obviously, my arcane isn't high enough <laughs> to use it because I don't really do arcane. Come on, fucker. Get up here, bitch. Fuck you. Damn, he can watch that shit far. Damn, he did drop some too. Let's see how many of them do I have. Two, god damn it. Oh well. We'll just have to make do. We will make do. No biggie. No biggie at all. Alrighty then. Let's hide here and go. Kill this fucking guy. Dodge, boom. Give me that shit. Fall right there, don't move. But you didn't drop it, so I don't care. Damn it. Oh well. What we need is Molotovs for right now. I meant to buy some, but I fucking forgot. Hey, never mind, we didn't need to buy them anyways. That's why. That's why we wanted Molotovs. Because there's a lot of those fuckers in here. Right, there's one. And boom. And there. God. There we go. And we're right back where we came through. Right here's the hole we fell through. Fun times. Moving right along. Ah, they dropped some shit. Good deal. Blood vials. Can always use those. Those are always fucking useful. And there's another one. Fuck you. Alright, and there's a guy sitting right here in, with his face in the corner. I think he 
I think he's getting punished or some shit. I don't know. We'll see. You know, he's acting like a little fucking kid and shit. You know, so I'm just gonna stab him right in the fucking back. And get twin bloodstone shards. Go right across here. Twin blood. Twin blood. Open this fucking door. Pungent cocktail. And here's where we're at. Right back here at the hole. That's where this leads. I didn't come here just because I knew I was going to unlock it right there. That's why I didn't. But anyways. Moving right along. Right here we're going to have to be careful. That guy right there. Up top. If you look in the, at, at the V in the tree. You'll see him. He's got a gun. So we're just going to come over here. I got these fucking guys. Fuck. I missed him. Son of a bitch. Fuck me. Let him take his pot shot. And miss. Good shot, dude. Real good shot. Climb down. Let's go. Right here, we're going to need to be real careful at. Because look. Boom! Yep, and that will fucking kill you. One shot. So what I do is I literally wait to the last second and I just go. I run. Let that fucking guy follow. Yeah, go ahead and shoot. There you go. There you go. There you go, buddy. And then there's another one of the transform motherfuckers right here. Shit. I missed. More beast blood pellets. And there we go. Now, the way you're you're not supposed to really run like I did it. I just do it because it's easier for me. Um, I'll show you the real strategy of how the level's built and shit. You know, to, to do it, to make it through this little area here. Um, I just find that running straight for the cannon is the easiest way, in my honest opinion. Um, you're going to come over here. Destroy this shit houses here as little like hiding areas you know so basically you're getting shot at by the cannon oh fuck I can't pass oh fuck oh fuck yay I found a way yay okay anyways we'll just come through here you know and then there will be that guy walking across and then you take a run for it which is a lot shorter distance to run and get here to the cannon now coming right up, coming up right here, we're getting ready to meet a new enemy, and get a badass fucking weapon that I will be leveling a little bit of my blood tinge in order to use, because it scales very well with strength, which is my shield. This guy, he, I, that's why I killed him so quick, because he fucking snakes pop out of his head. And they can be a bitch because of the range of range of attack they have. I don't like them. And I hate snakes and spiders. I don't know why, I just always have. But anyways, moving right along. We're going to go get this piece of shit over here. Fuck yeah. This is a shortcut for later on in the level. We'll unlock that. But for now, we're going to go upstairs. Literally, like, way the fuck up there. Now, 
Now watch out, there's a the transformed fucker. Fucker doodles here. This fucking guy. It hits like a truck. And you guys don't know where we're going to do. The, the veterans do, obviously, but... You know, the newbies. You guys don't. Guess what? Right there's Bergenworth. Right there. That be Bergenworth. Oh, and right there at the clinic, we got the uh, summons to Kanehurst. We're going to go there too, and we're going to try and fucking take out Martyr Ligarius and meet the Vile Bloods. We'll do that momentarily. We're going to do that before we tackle Bergenworth. Just giving you a heads up on what's to what's in store a little bit. But anyways, let's keep going. Get out my torch, and right here's one of my favorite weapons in the game. Hell yeah, cannon. Can't use it right now though, I'm too weak in blood tinge. <laughs> and drop down, and then we're going to go back the way we came. Yep, yep. 61,000 blood echoes, almost said souls. That's a lot. We can we can do a lot with that. A lot of leveling and stuff. It'll be fun. Poison knives. This part coming up calls for poison knives. Now I'm gonna show you a cheese method. Um. Well, I'll, I'll just show you. Um. This motherfucker is stupid tough. If you fight him heads up. Like heads up, he is goddamn tough. And you see him right there. He's kinda nasty. I mean he's human, but what the fuck are you doing, dude? You're eating people? What the fuck? Okay. Anyways. We're gonna talk to him. Whoa! Blimey. Don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars, you're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you're a hunter, then would you know of any safe havens? Okay, we can send him to Erden. The problem with that is, he's not human. As you can tell, he's fucking eating human bodies. So if we send him there, he literally slowly picks off literally everyone there. But he gives you beast blood pellets. He does do that. If you send him to Yusef, because he dies. Obviously, just like everyone does. So what we're going to do is we're just going to withhold information. Oh yeah, of course not. I should have known. This whole place is falling apart once again. It's the curse of Yarnum. All right. And what we're going to do, we're going to come out behind him and. Have you got a screw loose? Told you. Or is it your animal engineering? Fuck this guy is all I got to say. He is a pain in the dick. But anyways, this is the cheese method. You just stand right here and poison knife his ass to death. It's literally the easiest way to take care of him. Any other way is a pain in the fucking dick just because he moves so fucking fast. And he is strong. He hits like a goddamn motherfucking semi truck. Like pretty much one and a half shots, you're dead. Like that's all it takes. For you. So. New game too, I do recommend, you know, fighting him straight up just because, you know, you're a lot stronger and faster and everything. And you got better weaponry. 
like I would recommend it just because it is kind of fun, kind of a fun fight. But right now we're just way too weak. Oh, you're not poisoned anymore. Let me, let me take care of that. There you go. Yeah, but we'll just sit here and let this fucking HP drain all the way down and we'll get his rune and all that bullshit and yep. That's when you need to watch out because he will, when he starts getting low on health, his hurricane like typhoon ship that he shoots at you, it gets further in range. It can do it. We're almost done. Take one more round of poison knife and you're done. Yep, there you go, have that. Beast room. Hell yeah. Notice how it's raining blood as if we just defeated a boss. Pretty much it, he was a boss. Just kind of one of those optional type deals. But anyways, moving right along. We'll go back down to where we got the cannon. And we're going to drop back down right here. And we're going to fight one of the Transform Snake dudes and unlock a shortcut, and I believe that's going to be it for this video. Unfortunately. I got stuff I gotta do. Darn it. Adulting sucks. There we go. That was what that, that first guy that I killed when I said we got a new enemy. That's what he transforms into, just just so you know. Um, we're literally about, I'd say a little under halfway through the Forbidden Woods. It's, it's a long area, the Forbidden Woods is. It really is. It's one of the longer areas in the game. But anyways, here's our shortcut right here. We're going to meet an NPC real quick. And I'm gonna join his covenant just because I want his uh I want his rune. He gives you a rune if you join. And then we're gonna unlock this. And there's our friend. Ah, a new face, are you? And an accomplished hunter, you would appear. <laughs> I am Volta. Master of the League. Members of the League cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt. Like any half-decent hunter ought to, you know? Haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts? Freakish slugs and mad doctors. Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. What do you say? Why not join the League? Yes! As a hunter, well should. Commit this to heart. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the League. There you go, impurity. The night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just think, now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. <laughs> there you go. 
We joined the league and we got the impurity rune. Let's head back to the hunter's dream. And with that, I reckon I'm going to bid you guys adieu. through we went through pretty much halfway through the fucking the fucking forbidden woods we got we got an impurity room we went to the, back to the clinic um i'd say this is a decent fucking little goddamn stopping point but anyways as always i am your host shit show himself if you guys are enjoying the shit show Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.